The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the company that created some of your most beloved characters, only to pimp them out more than child actors, comes a series that created its own genre of side-scrolling shooter and broke the glass ceiling on games about murdering aliens with hot, hot plasma. Metroid. Don the future football armor of Samus Aran, an intergalactic bounty hunter hunting down the most dangerous criminals in the galaxy, giant floating ball sacks with teeth, by traveling to new planets, exploring the two-dimensional labyrinths within, and shooting every square inch of cavern in case you missed a hidden missile tank, as you discover Samus Aran's true greatest enemy, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. Discover the many different worlds of Metroid, where you'll blast away waves and waves of local wildlife, whose local economies all seem to involve missiles and health gear, wantonly destroy ancient alien architecture, and fight off the ever-present space pirates, all in service of your main goal of purging Metroids from the galaxy in an epic space opera that all kind of boils down to a pest control business. Yeah, I uh, got most of the big ones, so we'll just uh, tin up Zeebs for a couple of days and that'll get the rest. That'll be three energy tanks and a various suit. Explore the winding pathways of Metroid's massive labyrinths, where figuring out where the f you're supposed to go is half the battle, and discover new powers along the way, from alien chicken statues, then use them to reach areas you couldn't access before, in classic gameplay that somehow managed to turn tons of backtracking into a beloved feature, as you use the power of science to shoot an army's worth of beams, missiles, and bombs flip a million times in the air like a coked-out gymnast, and scrunch up into a tiny ball that's like a sixth of Samus's normal size. Okay, seriously, how does this work? Does space work differently in there? Do her bones, like, liquefy, or is she in just really constant excruciating pain? Either way, there's definitely porn to this, and I never, ever want to see it. Uncover the history of one of Nintendo's most maligned, from the original NES game that made you draw your own maps, unless you subscribe to Nintendo Power, to the much more linear Game Boy sequel, where Samus decides to adopt one of the vampire jellyfish for some reason, the excellent SNES version that solidified the series as a classic, the GBA version where Samus gets infected with the symbiote and they just straight up tell you where to go, the remake of the original that has one of the most ridiculous commercials to date, the prime games that turn Metroid 3D, creating lush, exciting environments full of secrets and enemies to explore, if you can stomach the awkward shooting and ask tons of first-person platforming. The Team Ninja one that played well enough but was blasted for its melodramatic story, Kojima-style unskippable cutscenes, and for making Samus baby crazy. Baby and the baby. Baby remained baby. baby. Remember the baby. All the Wii U games. And the embarrassing garbage they thought would make us happy after years of suffering that caused them to go right back to what they know best making the same games they already know you like, featuring a new version of Metroid 2 that kicks the intensity up a couple notches, with enemies that all bum-rush you like excited puppies, and a brand new Prime that people are losing their minds over, even though all they've really shown so far is a title screen. Personally, I'm waiting for the sequel to the best Metroid game, the pinball one. So kick your spaceship into overdrive, and fill your suit with a hundred missiles, for a classic Nintendo franchise that hasn't been milked until it's dry, and hope that the new Prime game won't send Metroid back into the Nintendo graveyard, buried forever alongside Kid Icarus and good Paper Mario games. Starring Iron Woman, The Blue Bombshell, Hemroid, Brain Age, That Is Just a Pterodactyl, The Dad from Dinosaurs, The Original Angry Birds, and Goth Bays, Spaceylvania. Did you know Ridley is an homage to Ridley Scott? I mean, it seems really obvious now. Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. You shouldn't drink and bake. Papa Scorch is in the house, baby. If light is the most fastest thing in the universe, how did the darkness get there first? I don't need people to help me grow up. I drink milk.